problems with reproducibility is to a large extent uh, because of how we do the science and how we report it. Investigators have biases and these biases are unintentional and unconscious. In order to deal with that, you have to take measures to minimize the possibility that you will introduce bias, such as making sure that you adjust the groups to be as equal as possible when you're comparing them, to try to blind the experiment so you won't influence the outcome, not to do hypothesis testing, but instead to simply ask questions, because the moment you put hypothesis forward, you're obviously biased to, to getting the answer that will support your hypothesis. You'd be hard pressed to find an institution in the United States that teaches experimental design to minimize bias, to make sure that you have uh, an appropriate uh, sample, an appropriate sample size, and to uh, um, design the experiment in such a way that the results will be as trustworthy as possible. Many of the animal studies that were done uh, appear to be done uh, uh, not rigorously enough that we can learn from that whether in fact they were suitable models for, for human disease or not. With that said, obviously there, there, uh, there's no reason to assume that everything that we uh, see in an animal model will reproduce in the human. So clearly one needs to um, obtain sufficient amount of data, careful data, uh, using animal models and learn from that uh, whether in fact they are, are good depictions of what happens in the human. The way to encourage scientists to, to do what they need to improve reproducibility, one needs to incentivize them. And the best incentive is really uh, things that are dear to them, which is their, their advance and, and funding. So if, if grant applications are looked at more carefully from their quality perspective, uh, how the science was done, rather than how flashy or glittery they are, uh, that would uh, encourage investigators to make sure that their studies are more carefully done. So, so the uh, National Institute of Neurological Disorder and Stroke are, uh, is, is doing um, uh, a few things to try to assure high quality research and better reproducibility. Um, for one, um, we have changed how we review grants that get reviewed within NINDS. Uh, we require the investigators not only to describe uh, in detail how they propose to do the studies uh, and analyze them, but also to speak about the quality of the data that they use in support of the application, what we call the scientific premise. The same holds true for their publications. If the journals require that they will uh, um, pay attention to uh, the quality of the work and report exactly how they did things, then because they want the publications, because they need them for funding and uh, 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 in order to get the promotion and tenure, then they will pay more attention to that as well. So such incentives will help change the culture.